Hey guys, welcome to Rosie Gold Free Flow number five. No, it's number six. And I knew that, but I just happened to say number five. Anyways, Alexa, set the timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Hope you all are doing well. This morning, the apartment complex had to shut off the water at 9 a.m. So I woke up a little bit earlier to get my shower out of the way so that I wouldn't have to wait until noon in order to shower because I don't like being smelly. But here I am, I think it's about 1.30ish p.m. recording this video for you, saying what's up. And yeah, I decided to whip my guitar out for this one just because I feel more comfortable with it in front of the camera after recording a handful of covers to upload onto TikTok the last couple of days. I'm um, still trying to get to know that platform a little bit better, uh, and it is one of the newer ones. So figuring out YouTube and TikTok, already kind of understand Instagram, but I like how the, the format's kind of going out and trying to figure out new ways to kind of get content out there. But. but yeah sometimes I like noodling around with my acoustic guitar I've had this thing for dang six six years let's say it was six years maybe going on seven ish I want to say around 2014 is when I got it it was my favorite thing in the world. I used it to record all the demos you probably hear in the background because for the most part, all of them have acoustic guitar in it. It's usually how I write my songs is I kind of get a cool chord progression. So for something like Only Wearing Blue, it all, it all started with those three chords are pretty central to it. And it initially started out a little bit different from the demo. It originally was a little bit lower, so. And then minory, so very scarier sounding. So. As opposed to what it is now, which would be... So less with the scarier tone and keeping more in line with a happier sound. I'm probably gonna release a separate video at some point talking about the song a little bit more, or it might be this video, who knows? It's five minutes. But that song was written in September of 20... 18. So it is over a year old now, even though it was released September of 2019. It's really weird to believe that we're going into 2020 so soon. I was looking up uh, decades covers for TikTok and just seeing what was on the billboard and I didn't realize some of these songs were like 10 years old, like Teenage Dream by Katy, Katy Perry, Just The Way You Are. And I was just looking at different billboards to kind of like get on that nostalgia train <laughs> um, before 2020 begins because those are the songs that of course you remember a lot but yeah it's weird to it's weird to revisit those songs because you don't realize how old they are until you start hearing them again and you're like wow the sound of modern music's changed quite a bit and it's incorporated a lot of new sounds and a lot of like older sounds so to see the way it's evolved is very interesting to me and not in a bad way i really like the way that it's evolved in the past handful of years incorporating more hip-hop sounds and things along those lines because it does keep for a more interesting flow when it comes to listening to music now on the radio. 
However, I feel like I've been lacking in that sense, only because since Spotify has become a huge thing, I feel like more and more people listen to whatever it is that they want to listen to as opposed to the radio, but that's just surrounding myself around my group of friends. I really wish I was more in tune with that. Alexa, stop. Thank you. <laughs> I really wish I was more in tune with what modern pop radio kind of has and knowing all the lyrics because I used to be like that back in 2010. And before I had Spotify, of course, I was more in tune with what the charts kind of look like. Looked like. Mm. But yeah, that's my thoughts of the day. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Goodbye and bye.